What is going on YouTube? Back at it again with a couple more updates. Um, so really the main uh, difference right now is the tower speakers that I got. I actually got these also used, uh, $60. They're the exact same woofers and tweeters as the center channel. It's an Infinity C25 center channel. Infinity Primus C25 center channel. And the left and rights are also Infinities Primus 250. So I was pretty lucky when I got this uh, pair. Matches the center channel. So it gives a really seamless uh, transitions from left to right, left to center, right. You know, any car zoom in to the left or right. And, you know, it just gives that um, balance feel to it in my front channels. That's really the main thing, main difference here. So I got the 100 inch screen, Vivo 100 inch screen, 16 by, uh, yeah, 16 9 ratio. And these are all DIY uh, speaker covers. They didn't come with any speaker covers. So let's zoom in here. So you can see. So they're exact same woofers, five and a half or five and three quarter inch woofers, exact same tweeter. Got my Sony Blu-ray player there. Um, so you can see my Infinity Center Channel. And I have a little 11-month-old, uh, so I just got this thing covered up. See, it looks kind of ugly there. She likes to poke on it. So I got this covered up with some speakers, and it looks pretty clean. <laughs> Back it all the way up right now. That's how it looks like from the seating position. Of course, I got the Dark Knight on the left, Man of Steel on the right. Show you my collections here a little bit. I got also a three-year-old boy who leaves his toys everywhere. But um, yeah, you know, X-Men Trilogy, Die Hard Collection, Die Hard 1 to 4. Batman Begins, Dark Knight, Dark Knight Rises, you know, Nolan vs. Trilogy, and I got Mad Max Fury Road, and the reason I brought that one up is because I also have added height speakers, so the Bose 161s that I had in the front, I put them up here, so I got a 5.1.2 system now. And just watch Mad Max Fury Road on here. And it's freaking amazing. Ideally, I do want a 5.2.4. But, you know. This will do right now. And I still got the same. Bose 201 Series 4. Rear channels. And, you know, they do the job. In the rears. So... Got it propped up there by my old, uh, what's that called, um, energy take speakers. <laughs> Those are my first speakers that I uh, ever bought, used as well, on my five on a 5.1 system. And they did good, I was happy with them, but you know, this is my current update right now. These are, you know, my kids' toys and a little workout space here. And the good thing about it there is that you can't really see it when it, you walk in right here, you know, you don't see all that clutter in there. So it's good, a little playroom there. And um, that's really about it, man. You know, the seating arrangement is all the same. Recliner, table, sofas. Obviously, the prime seat is right there. And um, yeah, that's really about it. You can see there my projector, same thing, ViewSonic. Pro 7827 HD 1080p, 
4K will be next, but very happy with this because it has a Darby. Got a Sony Atmos um, receiver. DH790, I believe. That's what it's called. And it's a good little receiver. I mean, you know, I want a little more features, but again, I have it here. Um, hidden away from the kids. So my, you know, my my daughter loves poking on this little red thing right here. The red uh, power light dial. She can't turn it. And when I cover this, she doesn't really bother this anymore. It's kind of boring to her now. So everything in the front looks kind of boring now. She can't see. So that's really how it looks like. And, you know, it's a pretty clean look, clean look, in my opinion. Anyway, guys, that's it. Just a quick uh, rundown. Have a good day.